Hi Study Sex fans, this is Omegan answering more of the questions that were asked during the Study Sex College Tour. Um, and these questions are coming from Wesleyan University. And so the question that we're going to deal with today has to do with libido. And the question was asked, can the pill decrease libido? The answer to this is yes. In the majority of women, they will notice uh, research has shown that the pill can reduce libido. Now that doesn't mean you're not going to want to have sex anymore, but it can decrease the amount of sex you want. Um, it may decrease the ability to feel randy. But it's not just the pill, it can be any medication that is taken has consequences to our bodies. And whether they're sexual or their weight gain, or their physiological. Um, anytime you put something into your body, there's gonna be a reaction. In some individuals, the pill can decrease libido. Other things that can decrease libido would be stress. So if you're in college, that's a major libido killer right there because you're so stressed with exams and classes and what's going on in your you know, personal life that that can really affect the libido. Um, heart medications can decrease libido. Um, anxiety medications, depression medications, there are many medications that decrease libido. For some people, the risk of pregnancy can also decrease li libido. So, so there are things to weigh, but both of them can be libido killers. So it's a, it's a choice that someone makes. Now there are other hormonal forms of birth control that don't seem to have as um, high of a rate of reduced libido, like um, the ring the intrauterine device, also known as the IUD. Um, these are some examples of hormonal forms of birth control that one can take that does not affect libido. So it's all about options, it's all about choices, and it's all about educating yourself in terms of what works best for your body. And it's your body that I'm concerned about, not your best friends or your roommates, because everyone is gonna react differently. So investigate, figure things out, talk to your doctor, and pay attention to how your body feels. Thanks for asking the question.